Hello friends, welcome to Basic Electrical YouTube channel. So in this lecture, I am going to explain the operation of uh, MCV, Miniature Circuit Breaker. Even this topic also comes under Module 5. So let, uh, I will explain in detail how the MCV operates. Okay. See, look at here, uh, the default uh, circuit for MCV is, MCV always connected in live wire. Okay. See, this is live wire. Okay, live wire. So, connect MCB here. Okay, in MCB, uh, there will be two terminals. Incoming terminal and outgoing terminal. So, incoming terminal, incoming terminal connected to, this is called MCB. Incoming terminal connected to live wire. And outgoing terminal, okay, and outgoing terminal connected to load and outgoing terminal connected to load so that is what see and uh, let me take this is a load and load is connected to neutral another end of the load is neutral terminal that is connected back to supply see keep in mind n series is connected in series with the live wire okay got it this is the basic circuit how mcv is connected don't connect mcv in the neutral connect mcv in the live wire Okay, so now same concept is written here. Inside MCB, what and all it will be there. See the components of MCB are it will have a magnetic uh, coil or magnetic element. It will have latch, trip bar, bimetallic bi strip, and then con contacts. Okay, so these contacts, these contacts are uh, nothing but on and off switch. Okay, on and off. In MCB, uh, we are going to switch on no? uh, that uh, particular switch. So that is called this one. Okay, contacts. So one end is connected to line, another end is connected to load. Between line and load, uh, MCB is connected. These are all inside component in the MCB. Okay. So let we can uh, analyze uh, one normal condition and another one is when fault occurs, uh, what happens? See, example for short circuit. See, for example, line and neutral is shorted. Okay, if line and neutral is shorted, so MCB will going to trip. Okay, MCB going to trip. So, inside MCB, uh, the contact terminals are this one. So, this contact will get the open. So, like this, the contacts will get open in the live side, line wire. Okay, live wire, the contacts open. Okay, when short circuit occurs. Otherwise, it is also going to protect due to overload when excess current flows due to overloading condition during overload condition and short circuit fault mcb is used as a uh, protective device keep in mind mcb protects both overload as well as short circuit protection okay understood so let me write a uh, simple circuit like this okay guys look at here now uh, actual working what happens See, this is called, what I wrote here, this is called bimetallic strip and this, this everything is strip bar. Trip bar, uh, trip bar is connected to the latch. See, latch is the art of the MCV. Okay. This is very, very important. Okay. Without this, the contacts will not open and close. Okay. Okay, guys, look at here. Now, the figure here is normal condition. Nothing, no fault, no overload, no short circuit. Under that condition, what happens? See, contacts are closed. Okay. When, once I close the contact of MCV, okay, supply get connected. Live wire, that current passes here through the magnetic coil. Current starts flowing like this. Okay. Current keep on circulating to the... So, load will get uh, continuous supply under normal condition. Okay. Now, assume that if excess current, if I applied more load beyond its rating, then what happened? High current flowing in the load. So, due to that high current, see this bimetallic strip. So, back end of the bimetallic strip, a metal is attached, okay, behind uh, or suppose this is a bimetallic strip. On bottom of this, a metal plate is connected and that metal plate is touched to the uh, load terminal almost near to the load when excess current flowing what happened uh, spark will going to produce or heat going to be produced 
due to that heat produced okay due to that heat produced what happened the bimetallic strip going to attract the tip attract the trip bar it going to attracts the trip bar so whenever the bimetallic strip going to deflect towards the trip bar when start moving to the trip bar in the same way the trip bar also trip bar also get attract to the bimetallic strip okay so due to the deflection what happens so the latch is there now the latch will get disconnect so the latch disconnects meanwhile at the same time the contacts will also get open so that is shown in figure b figure b is abnormal condition figure b is normal working condition so current starts flowing okay like this normal load will get the continuous supply okay if you want you can write here so the load may be like this and this is the neutral terminal so like this this is a line and this is neutral in the line mcb is connected not in the neutral okay so excess load apply if i apply more load excess current flows so that is fault condition so due to that fault condition the bimetallic strip heated the metal deforms and that strip going to deflect okay and the strip going to deflect due to the deflection so we going to hit the trip bar so the trip bar releases the latch so there is a contact there is a contact here latch contact it going to uh, this contact plays an important role connecting between line to load okay supply is passing continuously so whenever this bimetallic strip hit the trip bar the latch is released when latch is released meanwhile okay contact strip open and then disconnect from the supply see now when the contact is open and this current is not flowing in this coil and then it is protected under short circuit condition or fault condition got it okay friends so now we can uh, look into what are the merits and demerits of mcv okay so this is very important okay demerits and uh, merits so i want write here you can uh, copy down one by one so what are the merits of mcv see we can easily identify uh, the electric uh, circuit okay when tripped so in our fault occur when well, sorry when fault occurs so it going to trip so we can easily identify that uh, so that in this mcb is protected against fault we can easily identify that is one of the merit and next is uh, very simple to resume the supply so once fault is clear again the operator can close this contact okay so by closing this contact again supply is get connected very easy to uh, resume so we can operate manually as well as automatic nowadays uh, both options are available okay if you don't want automatic means you can take manual mcbs when uh, supply is tripped up tripped off when supply is tripped up then you can close the contact again uh, to receive the supply to give supply to the load we need to close this contact manually okay why it is open due to some fault occurs so it is open contact is open okay so that is one merit and next another merit is less maintenance and then uh, less replacement cost okay maintenance is very less coming to mcb compared to fuse uh, mcb maintenance is very less and then coming to operation any fault occurs uh, under abnormal condition like overload and short circuit mcb will going to Uh, works faster than uh, faster under short circuit and also under overloads and next is it is reliable okay it will work uh, 24 hours seven okay mcb is a reliable device then power restoration power restoration can be easily done that is called power supply resume due to fault supply is cut off okay the mcb will going to trip so if need you can close the contacts again supply is Uh, we can easily get it these are the merits then coming to demerits so in demerits uh, sometimes what happens slow tripping if tripping is slow means so due to that uh, that slow tripping time so the fault current may damage the uh, load uh, load equipments 
so that is uh, one choice uh, chances are there okay if tripping is slow okay next is uh, aging factor aging and wearing for example even fault occurs if this latch is not removed what happens fault current passes through the load so and also source everything get uh, complete entire system is get damaged so that is the aging factor is there <coughs> and uh, common customer uh, customer side uh, demerit is mcb cost is higher than fuels okay mcb is costly compared to fuels and then uh, one more demerit is it cannot protect the uh, earth fault it go it cannot protect the earth faults okay if any person touches the frame of the machine uh, under such condition it is not protecting only overloading and uh, short circuit condition mcb is recommended okay so where we can use this mcb we can use the mcb in uh, residential buildings commercial buildings and also in industries industries they are using uh, three phase mcb in commercial also they are using three phase mcbs okay uh, however in residential uh, single phase mcbs are Uh, used <coughs> so keep in mind uh, common uh, clarity both fuse and mcb we are going to protect under overload as well as short circuit condition okay got it but mcb cost is higher than fuse okay and we can resume this supply but in fuse not possible once fuse bimetallic uh, uh, fuse uh, element get melted down due to short circuit we have to Uh, replace another one okay but here replacement is not needed so we can close the contacts once strip is once, once fault is cleared we can close the contact after 5 10 seconds okay understood understood guys so it is very important uh, please watch it don't copy whatever i explain same thing i wrote in the notes so i will say i will uh, give my number in the description if you need a notes for modify you can message me i will send this pdf Okay, in notes I wrote uh, same by. Okay, guys, have a nice day. Take care. Meet you next lecture. Uh, power transmission and distribution concepts. Okay, so like that, and uh, the low voltage distribution systems and uh, tariff. All these things I am going to explain in the upcoming lecture. So already two to three lectures are pending in modify that I will upload as soon as possible. So try to share this uh, content. to all your friends okay of your college other colleges okay have a nice day take care